Hi, my name is Felicia Zimmer. I've never spoken in front of a large audience before, so I'm really nervous. My major here is human services. My past has been rocky, but I've overcome many obstacles. Everyone has a story here. Well, here's mine. I grew up in Toledo, Ohio. Life was rough for me starting in grade school, mostly due to being bullied for having a birthmark on my face. When I was five years old, I went through five laser surgeries to try to lighten or remove it, but they didn't really help at all. I didn't have many friends, and people used to call me pepperoni face or always think I either got beat up or in some kind of accident. I'd respond with, no, it's a birthmark. I was born this way. That was the beginning of my insecurity, and all that gave me a complex. My home life was not the best either, with my dad being an alcoholic and my mom always being stressed out, working multiple jobs to support us. I started getting bad grades and cared less about doing good in school. As a freshman in high school, I started doing online schooling to try to escape from the people and the bullying at public schools, but being at home wasn't much different. I had many traumatic experiences with my dad being abusive and threatening suicide. The choices he made during my childhood no one should have to experience. Mental illness and addiction is a part of my family history on both sides. Unfortunately, I was allowed to go to bars and drink with my dad starting at the age of 14. I started drinking too much and turned into a high school dropout. I seemed to have more friends and get more popular when I was drinking and partying, so I thought that was the cool thing to do. When my mom left my dad, she left me with him. I was very disappointed at this age, but now as an adult, I realized that I was a lot like him with the alcohol problems, mental health issues, and I was too hard to deal with at that time. This was a wake-up call to me because I knew I needed to be a better person if I wanted to have my mom in my life. I enrolled myself into high school at 18 years old as a super senior so that I could still get my diploma, but that didn't work out. Soon after me and my dad got foreclosed on, I had to find another place to live. However, I persevered and ob obtained my GED not long after. Even though I always had a lot of problems going on, I never stopped trying to get an education. I've attempted colleges multiple times, but I never could stick with it long. No matter how long I stayed away from my party lifestyle, I always went back to drinking again. But I stayed away long enough to enroll in an accelerated program and receive a certificate for medical assisting. I was proud of myself then for actually completing something. After working in the medical field for a little while, I got into a serious relationship and was introduced to a different kind of demon. For a while, things were great until we became homeless from him stealing money to support his drug habit, which at this time I found out about. From everything that went on in my life before this, I gave up and gave in to using drugs also. It got so bad that I would stay up for about a week straight and wouldn't eat for about three days most times. I would choose to use drugs over getting a meal to eat. I dodged everyone because I was ashamed of myself and would even hide from my mom and ignore her phone calls when I was high. I started stealing from stores to support my habit and eventually got arrested for robbery. I did two years in prison. By this time I had disorderly intoxication, petty theft, theft and robbery on my record, I knew I had a problem and needed help. While I was incarcerated, I did start changing my thinking process. The only person I had to help me during those two years was my mom, because my dad was also in prison. She was the only one I had to support me through my lowest moments, and I knew that I had to start doing better in my life and stop worrying about having friends, being cool, or having fun. And she's actually the person that I brought with me here in the audience. While in prison, I tutored GED classes and did a six-month intensive outpatient program. I really had to buckle down if I ever wanted to be happy 
be married with kids, and have an education to support a family. After getting out, I stumbled a couple times, and it was hard to rebuild a life being a felon. With everything I experienced in my life, I was codependent on a man to make me happy and to show me the love that I needed. But I realized that I went about it the wrong way. I've been in multiple relationships due to being codependent, and each time when it ended, I, I had to lose everything and start over, and I've rebuilt many times over. I've had multiple jobs, lived at multiple places, and my life has been a roller coaster ride. I've had to move 24 times that I can remember. I finally had enough of going through the same things and being nothing. I needed to take all my downfalls and everything that I've experienced in life and make it worth something. I started recognizing my worth and that I had a purpose in life. My purpose is to help other people that are experiencing mental health issues, addiction, are in recovery, or getting out of being incarcerated since I was able to overcome all those things. Good news, I'm happily married now and have been for a little over a year and I have two stepdaughters. I'm actually in the process of moving this week. We upgraded to a house from an apartment. This year, I've been the most stable I've ever been in my whole life. I'm finally happy with who I am who I'm with, and feel confident in my future. I enrolled in Northwest State because it was a little far from Toledo, and I was hoping to have a better experience than when I was younger. It has been the best school I've ever attended. Here in a couple weeks, I'll have completed a year, and I am so proud to be a student here and be able to work on my education to help people in the world. I someday hope to be an advocate counselor or case manager for people who are struggling with recovery or reentry after being incarcerated. I'm excited for the opportunity to receive a scholarship and be a part of a college that cares so much. Thank you to everyone who makes these opportunities available. I'm shaking like a leaf. <laughs>